What is up everyone? Welcome to the third episode in my Rust 101 series. I hope you guys got some useful information from my last 101 series covering my settings. In this episode I'll be covering a bit about how I start out a new servers. So uh, let's get right into it. Oh, you just got sniped, son. Where you going? Huh, where you going? He's running, he's running, he's running. Where's he running? Where's he running? He's running, he's running, 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 Normally when I join a new server in Rust, I tend to go for whoever has gear that I can actually collect and use myself rather than farming. To do this I normally go with a bow or even a pickaxe and most of the times it pays off a lot and sometimes it pays off a little less, but it sure is fast. Oh my god, there's another one! That's the same guy again. Oh, that was another guy. Yes, I realize I missed the planks, but I did go back for them afterwards. On this server I decided to settle down in a small house, but then I ran into more geared people and Ooh, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna go kill this guy like I said now. Hey, okay, okay, I got a bow of 10 hours. Who oh, got them gun away, game? What's up, Doc? Oh, God. Come on, come on. I'm right behind you. Oh, God. All of this basically made me go from having a bow and a couple arrows to having a base and a ton of stuff to make use of in that server. Here's another example from another server where I'm looting a rat town until I find a pickaxe. Then right afterwards I run into two geared players. One of them has Kevlar and the other one has leather. What's up Dutch? How you doing buddy? Hello fellas, I just called in an airdrop. How are you guys doing today? Oh yeah, what's up, what's up? Hey, can we talk about this? We can be friends. Okay, I guess not. As you can see, I managed to kill the leather guy, but his Kevlar friend finishes me off. As an airdrop is falling on the location, I figured that the guy will probably stay around a bit waiting for the airdrop or perhaps his friend. So I suicide a couple of times in hopes of getting a close spawn and in the end I actually managed to get one pretty close. Hey buddy, congratulations again the airdrops. You rock man. This guy might not have been the smartest person, but I did manage to go from a pickaxe to actually get an airdrop, actually two airdrops I think it was, and also getting fully geared and even having spare gear for top. Like I said before, there are a ton of ways to start out in Rust, and sometimes even I take use of them. Do never underestimate the efficiency of looting the rat towns around the map, as they can spawn really good equipment for you to start out with. So I guess that's it for the third episode guys, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode of my 101, I'll be uploading a bit about combat tips and rust, what I do in one-on-one -on -one situation, and even what I do in one versus multiple situations. Stay tuned for that one, guys, and uh, take care.